Welcome back. While Prime Minister John Key is using a two-day visit to Thailand to push for an enhanced free trade deal, political unrest is growing once again in the Southeast Asian country. Well, One News political editor Corin Dan is in Bangkok. Well, Prime Minister John Key's visit to Thailand has coincided with one of the periods of instability in Thai politics. We haven't seen this for two or three years. That's thousands and thousands of Thais coming out on the street to protest against the Yingluck administration. She is evil. <laughs> she is evil. The government is learning. It's not good. Their great fear is that she's passed some legislation that will allow an amnesty for her brother, Tukshin Shinawatcha, to come back to Thailand. But real concerns here about other issues such as corruption as well. Now, the issue for New Zealand and Prime Minister John Key is that he's come here looking to foster trade links. And, of course, a number of the businesses that have come with him have uh, done deals. Now, we did ask them today whether they were worried about this political instability, what impact that might have. Most of them felt it was OK, although clearly aware that it is bubbling under the surface here. Because the real worry for Thailand is that pro-government protesters also come out onto the streets and things could turn ugly like they did with the red shirts and the yellow shirts two or three years ago. Now, these protests seem pretty peaceful. They seem to be called the whistleblowers' protests, uh, with these, these uh, whistles everywhere, and they make a very, very loud noise, and they've been turning up to pro- and anti-government rallies and really blowing them and getting pretty noisy. So some real pressure on Prime Minister John Key, ahead of his bilateral with uh, Prime Minister Ying Luck. She's under pressure, that's for sure. It's going to make for an interesting meeting. Corin Dan, One News Bangkok.